Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm going to talk about free cybersecurity certifications. Yes, we do know that there are prominent ones that require payment, right? And you, if you want to be, you know, uh, considered seriously in this industry, you're going to need them. However, if you're just starting off or you just want to just tickle, tickle yourself, right? What's free out there? I'm going to cover it in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. All right. So uh, the state of the cybersecurity industry, uh, you know, cybersecurity is a field that deals with the protection of computer systems and data from malicious cyber attacks. Cybersecurity continuously faces new challenges and innovations as the world becomes more connected and dependent on technology. You see it all around the world, right? <laughs> people, people walking down the street in their phone like this, in their phone like that, right? <laughs> So some factors shaping the cybersecurity landscape are geopolitical uh, tensions, new technologies, and emerging threats, right? You, they, you come up with a remediation, hackers come out with another cyber attack. So, and with the constant reshaping of the industry comes the pay. According to Payscale, the base salary for an entry-level cybersecurity analyst is around $81,000. And we have, a, um, we have a quote here and or statement rather so it says traditionally cybersecurity has been a field that requires highly skilled experts to manage it effectively right uh villa diego explains but this approach has failed there simply aren't enough people with the necessary expertise to defend companies against the attacks they face today also what uh, villa diego said so in fact uh isc isc2 a study says the most of its respondents expressed concerns about the shortage of cybersecurity personnel, citing it as a pivotal risk factor for organizations. Meanwhile, CompTIA State of Cybersecurity 2024 reports, uh, you know, the, the Cybersecurity 2024 report emphasizes the critical challenge of bridging the demand supply gap, highlighting the need to bring in less experienced cybersecurity professionals who can continue building their skills, you know, up. So according to Tom uh, Kellerman, the senior vice president of cybersecurity, uh, you know, or cyber strategy at Contrast Security, uh, he said there aren't enough white hats for defenders. That's what he said, right? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Kellerman believes that a passion for defense is a crucial attribute for anyone looking to enter the field of cybersecurity. When you watch sports, do you find yourself drawn to the defensive side of the game? No, you know, you're, you're, you're more uh apt for the offensive side right whether it's uh hockey baseball you know basketball football do you like defense if you do uh you know this is the career path for it because you're really basically on the defensive side you basically basically on the defensive side when you when you're doing it right so uh let's get into it the first free one is the isc certified in cybersecurity online which is self-paced uh, this free self-paced course is for people just jumping into the world of cybersecurity. It teaches security principles, disaster recovery, and network security, all topics in the recently created Certified in Cybersecurity Certification Exam. This course and um, certification are free for the first 1 million people who sign up. It's about 14 hours in duration, and the difficulty, again, it's beginner because it's kind of shaped towards that that beginner side of things um the instructor is an isc2 authorized instructor and you know you're going to get a pre and post course assessment knowledge checks study on uh, uh, sheets quizzes podcasts and flashcards. so and again please expect the game uh, the exam level to be beginner please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. The next one we have is the introduction to CISSP, security assessment and testing and security operations. So we know what the CISSP represents in this uh, in this industry. So the, the coveted CISSP badge is one of the most respected certifications in, in the field. Becoming, you know, a CISSP holder is, you know, with this four hour certification course, uh, you know, it covers vulnerability tests, malware management, and best practices. The, you know, this skill up training program is regularly updated and gives you 90 days to finish. But right? remember, this is a free course that kind of gears you up. So while this course is short and open to the public, you need at least five years of relevant professional experience to sign up for this exam. But again, this is kind of like a free course that kind of leads you up to it. Or you can also go on Google and, you know, 
free SSP, you know, prep stuff and, and, and you know, it, it, you, you'll get that, right? You know, I said that just in case y'all don't like, yeah, you keep saying that we don't, we don't, all right, all right, all right. I'm just giving you things, okay? Golly. So next we have the 14 at Cybersecurity Awareness and the certification consists of three levels, which are absolutely free for everyone. And in this course, you will be introduced to latest cyber threats, advised on how to secure your information, cybersecurity products, cloud security, and uh, uh, security driven networkings and security operations, etc., etc., etc. right? Uh, the next one we have is Cybrary.it, and Cybrary has a big name in the cybersecurity professional uh, development space. Uh, it provides 45 plus, right, 45 plus free courses with completion certificate covering all different types of cybersecurity roles. Prepare yourself to take the next step in your career with Cybrary's guided job-specific career paths. Cyberry work with industry experts and leading professionals to ensure each path provides you with the skills you need to start your career, earn that promotion, earn critical industry certifications. And um, one of the good things about it is you get to learn at your own pace and on your schedule to achieve your goals. Right. You don't have somebody like just 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 jocking it to you, just jocking it to you. So uh, what do you think about, you know, what I talked about? Is there like a uh, free cybersecurity certification that I didn't talk about that you are, you know, you know of? Please let me know in the comment section below. Now, uh, in many things in life, free art is just not always better, right? So here are some things that you're going to want to keep in mind if you want to, you know, go to to free, right? Uh, some of the pros is, you know, you can learn at your own pace that like we talked about, uh, no admission requirements like minimum GPA and standardization. And, you know, professors are very lenient, etc. because this, this is a free service at the end of the day. However, with some of those free courses, you know, it's sometimes also tied to a tuition, right? So again, I understand pockets might not be as deep, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to, you're trying to wedgie in, but you're going to have to pay somewhere somehow. So if you're going to pay for something, make sure that you get the end result. So um, if you want to do this, that's fine. But uh, I highly recommend that you don't just kick the can down the road because eventually you're going to have to start paying for uh, programs and certifications, you know, to get those big dogs. You know what I'm saying? Those, those big dogs, big dogs. You're going to want these. You're going to want that. You're going to want these. You're going to want that. You know what I'm saying? Cybersecurity certification. Cybersecurity. So, uh, Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate your support. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell and please hit that like button. Uh, stay safe. See you in the next video.